easiest way to strengthen the transverse is lying down with your knees bent with a prop in between your knees. Put your hands in your lower belly right inside the ASIS bones and down below, down just a little bit toward the pubis. Deep breath in. Exhale, blow out like you're blowing out through a straw. Sucking your belly in as if you're trying to pull it away from a zipper on a pair of pants that's too tight. You should feel some muscle fibers kick up into your fingertips and your abs sink in toward the floor. Inhale, they expand. Exhale, let the belly sink in, then pull it in and squeeze the ball that's in between your knees or the prop. Inhale, let it expand, let the pressure between your legs relax. Exhale, squeeze the ball, let the belly sink, and then pull it in. It's easier to feed, begin to wake your nervous system up to it if you let your belly relax first and then pull it in second and do the movement third. So deep breath in, exhale, let it relax, then pull it in and you'll feel the muscles engage. Right now we're not doing the movement, we're just feeling the muscle, but we're gonna add a movement. We're gonna add a pelvic tilt using the transverse. So with your fingers there, inhale. Exhale, let it relax. Pull the belly in, squeeze the prop, and use that pulling in to create a very small pelvic tilt. So your low back is now touching the floor, but your transverse is still engaged and your abdomen should be sinking in. And then inhale, relax, back to neutral. Do that again. Exhale, let it relax. Then pull it in and let the pulling in create the movement, little tilt. Try not to use your butt. We're trying to actually just use the, this lower belly and of course the pelvic floor, the space in between the sit bones will engage because when you inhale, you can feel that the sit bones, pretend my pinkies are the sit bones, the sit bones, your sit bones widen apart a little bit. And as you exhale, you relax, squeeze the ball, pull the belly in. In order to do the little tilt, the sit bones pull together a little bit and your pelvic floor engages a little bit. Now we're gonna do the opposite. Doing the opposite helps our brains get it. Inhale. This time do the pelvic tilt without pulling your belly in. And in order to tilt your pelvis, the psoas, the rectus, and maybe even the glutes will fire. So your belly will poof up. It's a completely different muscle group and it's a completely different feeling. Deep breath in. Do that again. Exhale. Pull your back to the floor. And you'll feel this group in the center engage. And if you put your fingers down here on the sides, you, it will, you'll see it's not working. Let's go back to the transverse. Inhale. Exhale. Let it relax. Squeeze the mini ball. Pull the lower belly in and let the pulling in create the tilt in your pelvis. Inhale. Back to neutral. Two more times. Exhale. Squeeze the ball. Let your belly sink in. Pull it in and let that pulling in create the movement. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, squeeze the ball. Let your belly sink in, pull it in, and let the pulling in of the belly create the movement. That is a practice using the transverse. It is important to learn to distinguish in our brains and in our bodies how it feels when we are using the transverse to create movement and when we are using the rectus and psoas, or when we're using the horizontal group, or we're using the vertical group. They create very different sets of strength in the body. The transverse is obviously underutilized in our world. 